In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform reports management. There are three interfaces by which you can launch reports management module. Option number one. On the toolbar, you will see this image and if you hover your mouse over it, then it says reports management. If you click on this button, then reports management module will be launched. Over here, you will see reports and if you click on it a drop down menu will be opened and you can go to reports management by clicking here. Option number three. There is a button called reports and if you click on it then reports management module will be launched. Now, let's talk about how to perform reports management. There are three sections. Inventory reports, expense reports, and financial reports. I will discuss each section as we go. Let's talk about inventory reports first. You are provided with five options. You have to select one of them. By default, the first one is selected. This means that we have to provide the number of days by which a product will be expired. For example if we want to see which product will expire in 10 days we will write 10 and press OK. Now all those products that will expire in 10 days will show up. You can filter the list by a particular vendor. You can save this list as PDF, print, or export it. If you click on the second option and press this button then you will see a list of products that will be expired in the next 6 months. Now, I will click on the third option. It says enter low stock value. For example, if you enter 30, you will see all those products whose quantity is less than 30. Now, I will select the fourth option. It will show all those products whose stock quantity has reached level 0. Next. I click on the last option. Stock count is the number that is obtained as a result of adding up all the quantities. Total purchase value is obtained by adding all the stock values. Stock value is the purchase cost of product multiplied by quantity. Now let's move towards expense reports. I have clicked on first option and then clicked view expense report. This option will enable you to view all the expenses of current day. You can group the list by three things. Individual expenses. Category and date. The second option will enable you to view all the expenses that were added yesterday. The third option will enable you to see all the expenses that were added in the last seven days, excluding the current day. Similarly, the fourth option will enable you to view all the expenses that were added in the last 30 days. By the last option, you can select a range of your own choice. Now, let's move towards the third section called financial reports. Total sales shown in this report are rounded off numbers that are according to significant numbers set after decimal point on the settings dialog. The first option will allow you to view the sales that took place on the current day. Total sales field shows the total cost of products that were sold. Purchase cost shows the cost of goods that were bought from the vendor. Net sales is the result obtained after subtracting purchase cost from total sales. Total discount shows the total discount that you offered for all the products sold. Total items sold shows the total quantity of items sold. Total expenses shows all the expenses that you added on the current day. Total tax shows the total tax on the products sold. Sales can be grouped by five things. Category. Product. Customer. Date and user. You can save the list as PDF, print it or export it. Financial report of the last day will show similar report on the day before current day. Financial report for last 7 days will show similar report on the last 7 days excluding the current day. Same goes for this option. In the last option we have to select a range of our own choice. 